And a happy National Homebrewer Conference Week to you. I'll see some of you idiots uh, in a couple couple days here as we embark upon the adventures of the National Homebrewer Conference. I'm sorry, HomebrewCon. I know you're asking a question is, what's up with these things? So I just uh, I turned 38, or 39, 39, um, like a month ago, and I noticed that I was having problems picking up reading signs in the distance, and turns out I need glasses. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a nerd nerd now. So, anyways, just got back from England. Uh, let's on, let's let's take a little little hop across the pond and see what this is all about. Yeah, I do nerds. Hey nerds, we're in London at Herman the German. That's a little chain restaurant thing with sausage, but it's all from Germany. Hence the German part. So. Liz is drinking Augustiner, uh, lager. I mean, hell, it's so much better. Not across the pond. And I'm drinking Bothouse Rau, which is a pills. Um, it's nice and clean. Um, pretty malty, not not super hoppy, but just so much better. So the gentleman that was right next to us threw up on the table. I don't know what the deal with that is. It's very loud, so I don't know how this is gonna sound. So, yeah, I do this. Hello, yeah, nerds. It's exactly, it's exactly. We're in a I really do like, I really it, English pub. To my career, doing you old is it Cheshire cheese? Ch uh, yeah. That. It's more just that and uh, first, first uh, beer engine pulled. This is Samuel and Smith so Old Brewery Bitter. Uh, uh, so you can tell by the color, it's darker, but it is. Just yeah, creamy the, so and delicious. The States, like, uh, I don't know even how to explain this. Like, creamy. It's creamy. It's like right. a. Yeah. Imagine an ESB yeah. you've had. <laughs> what are you doing? You? But good. So I, was working I don't know if that um, makes any sense, but it's like super creamy. Like no, oh, it's it's makes sense. Sense. Look at that head. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Samuel Smith, India Ale. Cool. Different. It's definitely not like a West Coast IPA. Uh, it's not as mangoey and fruity, but it's pretty solid. My favorite mm. part is how the head gets on your I know. nose. <laughs> it's tasty. It's really good. I don't. Know, I can't use my words on it though. I try. It. You look like a doof. No, I don't care. <laughs> and this is a uh, double four. Four ingredients. 4% double fermented. I feel like he knows more about beer than I do. <laughs> he could interview you if you yeah. like. Yeah, right, that's right. <laughs> that's our barkeep. Nice bar lady from, from New Zealand. Australia. Australia. Yeah, Australia. Oh, sorry, that would be insulting too. Oh, no, is that I'm insulting? Right. I'm kind of used to it. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I always think Australia is such a bigger country that people would assume it's Australia, but most people assume I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I thought I heard. I don't know if it's I've got a bit of a, a like, since I've been here, I've kind of got an English kind of accent twang. So Black Friar, City of London. Is this Camden Pale? Um, that, that's all I know about it. It's called Camden Pale. And this is Dick Birkin. <laughs> <laughs> she honestly ordered it because she's immature. That's exactly what you said, correct? Yes. So on the head, it's a little bit of hop, but not a ton. But it's definitely Americanized. I would say, so it's not super duper 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 duper, like just not hoppy, but it's, um, it's quite good, but a bit bitter in that not deep way, which I was said on the group before, um, but it reminds me of home. 
So I'm going to try to dick Firkin now. <laughs> Looks pretty light. Okay. It's fine. Watery. Not dangerous. Truman's Runner. It smells exactly like a mash. Like, I'm mashing a beer. And there it is. Oh, roasty. It's creamy. It's pretty damn tasty. It's cask, so it's not exactly super cold. But I don't like my beer super cold. It's tasty. Quite simple. Not much to it. Malty. Hint of bitter. It's clean. Uh, and it's not super cold. Because it was uh, off a beer engine. Yandu beers. Adnan's Mosaic Pale. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Everything's very confusing over here. They say weird things. <laughs> Smells of mosaic. It really tastes of mosaic, but it's a bit sweet. So I don't know if you could drink a ton of it. If it dried it out a little bit, it'd be a really good representation of West Coast IPA. But it's got a little bit of a mineral leaf finish. Um, probably the water, that's my guess. It kind of has that minerally ish finish that most of the London beers have. And then guess the word I'm going to use instead of saying coppery but not bad. I don't know. Got your dirts. Hello, Internet. <laughs> We're at Gravity Station in Cardiff. And we just got a, uh, a flight of beers. That's my attempt to pan. So, cheers. What is this one? With the wire? Yes. It was an amber. And it's ambery. A little chewy. I kind of get some stone food out of it. It's pretty good. Eat. This is... Lemonhead. Lemonhead. You can smell the lemon. Whoa, that's unique. Sharp and lemony at the front. Bitter finish. That's a good bitter. Which one is it? That's landmark. Landmark. I sorry, I, I haven't been doing that. <laughs> Coppery. In a very pleasant way. That drought this is. That is first chopped apricots. This is a cask? Yes, a red ale. Smell the apricot. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna compare this to Afra Hop, which has nothing to do with this is apricots in common. Uh, it smells syrupy, like molasses-y. Hmm, it's pretty good. Next. Sand bags export. This is so much easier when I don't have to try to read things. <laughs> uh, from Bournemouth? Yes. Ah. This is for you, Elliot. He's a supporter. Okay. Mm. That's good. I haven't tried it yet. You're ahead of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. I don't. I don't know how to describe English beers. And this last one is a US American IPA. IPA. Mm. Not bright enough. 
But it's still good. Yeah, I'm doing nerds. Done with your nerds stuff. Well, hello, nerds. Um, we're out here in Bath, Bath, England. Uh, it's gorgeous around here. Um, it's like a, a vacation destination. Um, uh, it's known for its healing waters and Roman baths and all this kind of stuff. It's got a long history. Uh, it's, we're at an Airbnb place uh, by this canal. Uh, if I'm not lazy, I'll show some images, maybe like here or something of it. Um, it's really nice. It's not as busy. It's a little more country slower. Uh, it's more relaxing after a couple of days running around the uh, rest of England and Wales. Bigger cities, it's nice to get away. Apparently I'm coming to country kid. But let's talk about some stuff we picked up in Wales at uh, the Gravity Station. Uh, this is the Citra Brett Ale that uh, I talked about the other day. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna do, do this in order or not, but it's by Chol Chorlton Brewing Co. Uh, it's slow beer. I can't tell by any of these things. It says 02 2056, whatever that means. So I have no idea how old it is. Um, uh, but this is basically a Citra in Waimea. I don't even know what that is. W-A-I-M-E-A, -E uh, Waimea. And uh, it is suitable for vegans. And that's a thing we see around here. Uh, the gelatin and the finding agents and uh, the, all that kind of stuff, vegans don't want. So it, um, there's some allergen type thing law that they have to list everything, including like veganness. So vegans. Heads up, so in the beer you drink, Guinness, you can't do. So, let's try this bad boy. Oh God. Well, a little bit drip. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of pressure to it, so it's definitely something in there, doing, still doing something. Oh, I should probably get a glass. Maybe I'll go get a glass. Back with the glass. A proper glass. Eh, kind of not really. So, check this bad boy out. That gives a lot of this bad boy. I might be able to pull it. This is a bit cloudy. Really carbonated. Uh, I assume that's Brett. On the head, it smells like. On the nose, it smells a bit sourdoughy. Probably the bread again. Not a ton of hop aroma. So you definitely get some tang. Um, that's how I describe it. A little bit of tang. It tastes like a pale. So it's definitely not an IPA. No, oh, it is called a pale. So it kind of tastes like a um, American pale. Maybe what I'd call it, with a funk to it, um, but not like socks, kind of tangy, sourdough-ish. It's pretty good. Well done. Chorl, chor, chorlton, chor, I don't know. Does anybody, anybody, British people, know how to say that word? Oh, there. Hello, internet. Uh, friend Jim and Jimmy, I guess, I don't know, and Kate just got married, the, the Duns, and we're out in Eschelt, Eschelt. and having a pre-party reception, uh, drink at, hold on, the Woolpack, I don't know why I did that, <laughs> uh, so this is, um, their house cask. And it smells just like a mash. Like exactly like a mash. It kind of tastes like a, not completely fermented out. Like it's good, but it's it's different. So that's my theory. And then Liz is having a otter. Oh, I gotta show the, the thingy here. See, if there's, if there's an otter on it. Ah. Same thing. Very malt forward. Gotta do nerds. Hello, Internet. Uh, we're at the Hop Bar and Kitchen in Saltaire, England. And we have here a triple chocolate stout uh, from a cask, obviously. So you just poured it, just cleared up. Nice, beautiful, creamy head here. 
it smells of chocolate syrup. It really does. And it tastes like a malt. Like, let's see, like not a malt, um, like cho milk chocolate, you know, with a tertiary syrup. That's kind of what it tastes like, and you get a little bit of a bitter finish. It's our last full day here, and uh, we're going to head back to the States soon, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, actually. Uh, so we're, we're about to take a cab or something back to the hotel, and then back then to the airport, and then we fly to London tonight. Uh, yeah, this is really good. It's about 4, 8, I think it was. Um, it tastes like... Like milk chocolate, like Hershey's milk chocolate. Cheers, slash Yandu nerds. Hey nerds, we just got back from from London. Um, just a few minutes ago, we stopped at the grocery store and all that kind of stuff. And my God, has the outside exploded? Uh, I don't know if I've really talked, walked you guys through all what we bought when we got this place, but a bunch of perennial gardens and stuff that need some work. Um, they haven't been taken care of for the last few years. And, oh my god, I have to go mow the grass immediately because it looks absolutely terrible. Before I do that, I'm going to have a moon man. So I've just spent 10 days drinking English beer. Um, and, uh, the, you know, low hop, malt flavors, toffee, um, really light, uh, 3, 2 to 4, 8 at the most. Um, some of the adventurous American ones were, were decent. Um, the kernel was excellent, um, but all that kind of stuff. But I want to try Moon Man when I get back because I bet you the hot profiles is going to like blow my mind. I should probably pour this in the glass, but I'm not going to because I'm going to take it with me to Mo. So, yeah, I do. Yeah, right, right away. You can smell it. You open the bottle and you can smell hop. Such a good beer. Just, just delicious. But there's nothing like coming home, right? Sometimes nothing says more like home than, than Wisconsin. So I'm gonna go out and take care of the lawn, at least part of it. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be a chore, and it's and it's hot out. Everything's worse. Yeah, I'm doing nerds.